So you see, it's very important, you know, that those abilities and some of the things you read with some of the apostles showing and demonstrating that kind of resilience, you know, that kind of strength, you know, and not backing down. It's very important that all of us we activate that side of us as believers because of where we are, where we are going, and some of the things that are about to show up here. You know, it's very important. It's very important for each and every child of God to activate that warrior side of you, you know. Because this journey we're on is not a, it's not a smooth one. There are a lot of things on the road. There are a lot of things on the road to Calvary. And one of the things that will keep children of God from turning away from whatever they are being called to do, whatever the Spirit of the Living God is pushing, is directing you to do, and where to go, and what to do, you know, and to stay on that thing and not turn away, no matter what kind of obstacles come in your way, you need to activate the warrior side of you. And it comes with being fully committed to what God has asked you to do. Being committed to what God has asked you, asked you to do wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly. Very important. Because everything that you are fully committed to, you can never walk away from it. Everything, things, see, Something you've committed 200%. You sacrifice so many things to hold on to. It's very hard to turn away from it. Very hard. Very difficult. No matter what kind of obstacles you face, the spirit of a living God will still keep rising you from the ground. That's why the word of God tells you that you will fall down. Um, when a, a, when a, a, a child of God falls down seven times, you will rise up again. And some of you, are, some of you were singing. I think there was a song, there was a song we, we, we used to sing when we were kids. I, I don't remember that song, but it, it, it's, it, that song says the same thing. When a child of God falls down seven times, you will never be able. To, if you, had, you had, if you have allowed yourself, and a lot of things, these things I'm saying is still connected to some of the things I've said, um, becoming. Um, a diehard follower of Jesus Christ, opening your, your heart is your heart too. Opening your heart, the innermost part of your heart, the place you used to love a man, the place you used to love a woman, that part, opening it wholly and committing it for whatever cause, whatever mission that Christ Jesus has set before you. When you open that side and allow that said, the Holy Spirit, come. Come in, come into my heart. You become indestructible. You become like an immortal. <laughs> yeah. When you open up and allow the Holy Spirit to come in, you become indestructible. You become like an immortal. You become fearless. And it's very important, very crucial for the time we are in, some of the things that are about to show up here on this earth. So activate the warrior side of you. That side that doesn't know how to give up. Very important. So some of you up and coming prophets, teachers, evangelists, apostles. I'm sharing some of these things. Activate the warrior side of you. This side of Christianity, we've forgotten it. This side of Christianity, we are, look, emphasis is not being made on it. So you find a lot of Christians in a lot of places who have become bottom feeders. We accept everything. It's hard to see a Christian that goes into a workplace. She has passed, she has passed for that. She qualifies for the job. Some of them are even overqualified. And the man is saying, I want to do A, A, B, C with you. You know it's against Christ. And you're not able to turn your back. You accept those those conditions. 
when you accept those conditions, you become a slave to those conditions that they are given to you. Meanwhile, you know you, have, you are qualified. Your certificate and everything, work experience, you know you, you have qualified. But a certain manager says, I want X, Y, Z. And you find Christians who have not activated the warrior side of you. If you have active, listen, if you have activated the warrior side of you, you just walk out of, you just pick your staff and walk out of office and they themselves will call you back. Because they need that position to be filled. It's not, we are forgotten it. A lot of believers have forgotten this. That warrior side of a believer, the warrior mentality, a lot of people have forgotten it. And so you find Christians in a lot of places who have accepted certain conditions. And as a result of they accepting those conditions, they have become slaves to those conditions. I'm telling you. If you find yourself in a workplace where they are doing, uh, what, what word am I going to use? They are, do, they are doing Fautubeji golf there. And as a believer, you call yourself a child of God. You accept those conditions. You are going to stay in that condition for how many years you are going to stay in the workplace. The very day you turn and rise up against that condition, that is the day they will sack you. Because you have already accepted it before you started working. But if you reject that condition, and you pick your staff and walk out of that office, and they themselves call you, they know you will not subject, you will not bow down to those conditions. A lot of Christians are bound down to a lot of things that is not meant for us. We have forgotten who we are. We have forgotten we are the children of a king. So we have become slaves in a lot of places, in a lot of scenarios, in a lot of places. You have to activate the warrior side of you as a believer. The accounts of the Bible that are put there, they are, you are put there to remind you. You are put there to remind you. Very important. To activate the warrior side of you, you have to be fully committed to what God he said is going to use you for, what God said he's going to take you to, whatever he showed you, whatever he shared with you through dreams, through visions, True prophecy. But to even become fully committed to what God wants to do with you is part truly allowing yourself and opening yourself up wholeheartedly, you yourself, opening your heart and saying, Holy Spirit, come in my life. Come and partner with me. Holy, opening yourself for the Holy Spirit because that ability it only comes from the Holy Spirit. It doesn't come from any human being. Because normal human beings, they run away. I'm telling you. You go there into the account of the Bible, you look at some of what, some of the things the apostles did. You look at some of the things they did. It's, it's, only, the, it's only a function of the Holy Spirit. Mortal men, mortal men run away when death is coming. They run the opposite direction. They run away. They run helter skelter. Mortal men run helter skelter when death is coming. Some of the things they did over there was because they have opened themselves and allowed the Holy Spirit in. And they have become fully committed to that cause that nothing could deter them, nothing could distract them, nothing could take away their focus. And no matter what they were doing there, will not stop them from fulfilling that assignment. Very important. Activate that warrior side as a believer. Activate it. it you need it now. I've told you, told you already, it's, it's the time of a virgin. What kind of virgin do you want to be? I, do you, what, we are in that time. What kind of virgin do you want to be? A foolish virgin or a wise virgin? Wise virgins will want to have more of the spirit. We want to get closer to him. We want to get more connected to him. Before the hour. Before the dark hour. We are in that time. So some of these messages are coming out. Messages like having a personal relationship with Christ Jesus. is coming out now. Because a lot, a lot of pulpits have suppressed that message. They have suppressed that message. They've kept it away. Kept it away. Some know about it. Some don't know about it. They have suppressed this message. This message. They've suppressed it. 
So there's a reason why some of these things are coming.